I was petting my cat Sam while checking up on our seedlings and a random thought crossed my mind. Could cat hair work as a grow medium for microgreens if properly sanitized? With this strange idea in mind, I did the sensible thing and I consulted AI. Plus, it reassured me I'm not weird in my curiosity. Our fluffy cat Sam was due for a grooming session to remove his undercoat, providing the perfect opportunity to harvest some hair for our microgreen experiment. He also really loves getting brushed. After gathering the hair from Sam, I rinsed the hair thoroughly to remove any debris, then washed it with a gentle, fragrance-free soap to eliminate oils. And after I was finished washing it, it really did look like a cat hair ball, which kind of grossed me out. To sanitize the cat hair, we're using an Ozo machine and sealing everything in a container. After 30 minutes, the medium was ready and we needed to place it in our grow dish. Now it's time to seed the cat hair with a superfood microgreen mix and then water the seeds. I used another bowl as my top tray and covered with a humidity dome just in case. And here they are 24 hours later. This is what they looked like on day two. And it was time for blackout. By day three, this is what our microgreens looked like. They were ready to be watered and introduced to light for the very first time. Now they can start greening up while Sam and I relax. By day nine, we successfully grew superfood microgreens on cat hair. I was even impressed by how beautiful and healthy the root structures looked. So can you grow microgreens on cat hair? Yes, you can. Would I eat these greens? Probably not, it's a bit too out there for me. But overall, this has been the strangest thing that we have ever grown microgreens on, and I'm impressed with how well it worked.